Yeah. I could probably just going to do Yeah, I, yep. I, I figured that was going to say, yeah. All right, Shalom, Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites to come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom and to let you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know that you're the biblical Israelites, you know, and uh, that this place is soon to be destroyed. You know, before all that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. We want to give double honors to the head of apostles, brothers, and great millstone and rule well. Peace and blessings to all you sincere Akim that are pushing this truth all over the four corners of the earth, week in and week out, in all truth and sincerity, man. You know? All right, brother, you can go ahead and open up with that. All right, so in the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, uh, verse 12. Oh, if I can, I'll start at verse 11. Kind, kind. It says, uh, I'll start verse 10. Con. It says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That's right. In which the heavens shall pass away with great noise. That's right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's right, because the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night, man. You know? When these people ain't ready, man, like the scripture says, when they shall say peace is peace and safety, then sudden sudden destruction shall come upon them, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, you ain't going to be ready, you know, for the day of the Lord, man, for that great day of destruction. And when Yahweh Shai cracks the clouds with them angels, man, keep going on. Right. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Verse that's, 11. That's right. Hey, this, hey, all this you see out here, man, is going to be completely destroyed, man. All these buildings, these streets, these roads, these cars, you know, these houses. All that's going to be burned up, man. You know, everything that was built up off the backs of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is going to be destroyed, man. This place is not going to last, contrary to what they teach you in the so-called Christian church. You got it out. Verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, uh -huh. what manner of person all right. ought he to be? Ah, that's right, man. Seeing that this place is going to be destroyed, seeing that everything's going to be burned up, okay? Seeing that America's going to be destroyed as well as various other parts of the earth, all right, seeing that the so-called white man is going to be taken out of power, you know, how are you supposed to conduct yourself, man? How are you supposed to act? How are you supposed to be uh, uh, communicating and, 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 and your conversation supposed to be, man? You know, how are you supposed to be walking, man? You know, you got it. Right. It says, uh, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and right. godliness? Yep. Looking for and hasting right. unto the coming of the day of the Lord. That's right. We're looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, man. You know, we're longing and we're constantly praying to Yahweh by Shimmy to, to, to destroy this place quickly. And, and that Lord willing, we're part of that elect and we can get beamed up out of this place, man. You know, we're constantly uh, uh, crying unto the Lord, man, you know, to take us up out of this place and, and to destroy this place quickly, man. You know, you got it out. Right. It says, uh, oh, right here. It says, uh, look at it and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens shall be on fire. It's like it wearing the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, right? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's right, man. This place is gonna melt with fervor and heat, man. You know, by the way of that waster, man, by the way of those arrows, man. All right, by the way of those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. The weapons of the Lord's indignation are gonna melt, they're gonna fry this place up, man. You know, this place is gonna be turned into a lake of fire, man. You know, but I'll be go so, ahead. I'll, let's, let me, well, um. But um, it would have said is that you know you should be hasty enough to come right, in the day right. of the Lord, right? Like look forward to right. That's right. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like it's not really stuck here, but I'm gonna bring the priest about. Go ahead, bring verse, it out. Uh, chapter two, verse thirteen, when it says, "Go and ye shall receive." Here's the point: Pray for a few days after you, that they may be shortened. Right. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Right. Watch. You know. Right. So you know you're supposed to be. Looking for and hasting up to the coming day to look. pray for a few few days off. Right. Not like oh I want to die tomorrow. Right. Not like that. Right. Like, but if we want this to be this this situation that we're in to 
to be uh, from the north. Right. Okay, be destroyed, right? Because we, we understand that the Lord is coming to save a remnant, and we right. have faith that we may be part of that right. remnant. Right. So what's the point of sitting here and, and, uh, and forwarding this place if, right. if the Lord's meeting? We know it. We just read it. It's going to happen. Right. Right. It's going to be destroyed. So everybody right. knows it's going to happen. So right. I mean, we're going we're gonna to forward this place when we know this is a thing that's going to come right after this. Uh, one more, if I may, then. Go ahead. Got it. Time. Yeah, yeah. He said, hey, sis, you said ready. Yep. Definition of ready. Readily says, willingly, eagerly. Mm. You know, eagerly and willingly seek the Lord. He prepares. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Right. Let's pray for a few days after. Right. Man. It's, um, and this is in the book of Second Ezra, again, chapter 8 and, the, and verse 1. It says, and he has to be saying, the Most High had made this world for many, but the world to come for few. That's right. All right. So this world, you know, the majority of people here, they live in this world. They ain't thinking about the destruction of this kingdom. Uh, they're not the kind of furthest thing from their mind. Right. All right. They're, they're really, what they're thinking about is what they're going to eat tomorrow. Right. 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 You know, right. oh, yeah. Oh, Christmas is coming. I got to save up money. Just to get, make sure we have enough presents and get a little PC in them. Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, that's what they want. They're worried about stuff that don't matter. All right. Uh, All right. But, you know, Lord willing, uh, we be of that elect. Right. You know, we're hasting up to the coming of the day of the Lord, like that dark and gloomy right. day that the scripture keeps talking about. Right. It's not going to be dark for us. Right. It's not going to overtake us as a people. Right. You know, because we're, you know, us being the watchers, we're watching all the signs that the Lord has right. right. shown us. That's mm -hmm. right. Hey, man, we long for the kingdom, man. And our, our conversation is in the heavens, man. You know, we're not worried about the, what's going on, you know, uh, uh, amongst Jake and chasing the bag, you know, money, uh, fame, all that bullshit, man. We're, we're looking way. Uh, 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 far beyond what you can see right in front of your face, man, which Jake doesn't have those those eyes to see that, man. Okay? He really wants America to go on forever, man. You know? He's comfortable in his captivity. And on top of that, he doesn't know that he's a captive. You know? We know that we're captives. We know that we're serving out our punishment. You know? So we're constantly uh, crying unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to, uh, you know, first and foremost, destroy this place quickly like the brother was bringing out and 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 and, and ultimately to uh, be beamed up out of this place, to be saved, Lord willing, we're part of that elect. Um, next verse here, Second Peter, uh, Second Peter chapter 3, now we're in verse 13. Nevertheless, we, okay, we, as in the whole right. elect, that's right. right, the watchman, I right, says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens mm. and a new earth, right. wherein well is righteousness. That's right, we look for the new heavens and the new earth, man, where righteousness is going to be set on high, not in this place, man. You're not going to receive no rest here on earth, on Aslaki, in this, in this, in this kingdom, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to receive no rest. Uh, under the rulership of these devils, man, or any of these uh, any of these other nations, man. The only time you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to receive rest is in the kingdom, man. You know that's going to come after this devil is taken out of taken out of power, man. You know that great war in heaven, man. Go ahead, I. Yeah, the scripture says the same shall know by death by pain. That's right. So you're going to learn of the rest. You're going to enter into that rest by your death. You know. Uh, but real quick, uh, to continue on that same point, Don. This is uh, Philippians chapter three, verse thirteen. The book of Philippians, chapter thir three, verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Mm. I press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of the Most High in Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. That's right. We're pressing towards that mark, man. We're not worried about them things that we left behind, man, before we woke up to this truth, man. You know, that old man, we're not looking at what we used to do, what we used to be, you know, nor are we affiliated with the affairs of these wicked so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know, we're, we're walking that, that straight and narrow path, and Lord willing, we can continue on that path, right? You know? Yeah, you got it out. yeah real, real quick, you know, and in doing so, not looking, you know, pressing towards the mark, looking forward, looking ahead, you know, you're not looking back. And we right. we seen the example that was left of us, you know. Of what happens when you look back. That's right. You, know, right. you, you become destroyed. Right. Yeah. Well, like the scripture right. says, yeah. no, hey, you know what the Yahweh Shah said? Hey, no man is fit for the kingdom, uh, taking hold of the plow and looking back, man. Yep. Looking back at the world, man, envying who he used to be, envying these wicked so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native, envying Hollywood, you know, the music industry, you know, what they could be doing or what they used to have. You know, they're not looking forward, man, you know. And you, and you know, coming into this, coming into this truth and, and taking your hand on that plow, it's not an easy route. You know, it's not going to be, you know, a, 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 a smooth road, man. You know, we're taking the rough road, man. You know? Go ahead, I. Hebrews chapter 13. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13, verse, um, just real quick, uh, where's that? Uh, verse, um, uh, 
like here, of verse 14. For here, we have no continuing city, right. but we seek one to come. Right. All right. Uh, you know, we, we, the, look, look, at, look at the state of our people, so-called uh, so called Black, Hispanic, Native American. All right. Even, even some of you that may look like other nations. All right. You still going through the curse. Uh, yeah. You know, there's nothing here for us, man. Everything here is, is ran dry. It's corrupted. Polluted. All right. The scripture says it's all polluted. Yeah. And I put the mic there. Uh, uh, so here, there's nothing here. There's no continuing city here. All there is is death here, uh, sorrow, pain, right. all right, disappointment. Right. Uh, um, but we seek the continuing city. We seek one to come because, again, going back to the promise that we were right. talking about, all right, the Lord said he's going to give us the kingdom of heaven. Right. All right. Where basically, and this is where we're going to go to the um, and second, uh, second Peter, uh, since I wear yep. until it's like the bike you know? you know, where we're going to live forever, man. And we're going to have those spiritual bodies where we can actually fully and completely enjoy life, man. And the kingdom is going to be forever. No other nation is going to be brought up over us anymore, man. Right. You know, we're going to be in rulership forever over these other nations. And soon, the so-called white man, he's going to be exterminated after he serves out his uh, his sentence, man. Yep. You know, his judgment, man, of, of, of a thousand years of hardcore slave labor under the hands of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You know? Go ahead, uh, uh, Rob. You got one? All right. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, shoot one of his ways. All right. For the forward is abomination for the Lord, uh -huh. but his secret is with the righteous. Right. The curse of the Lord is the out of the wicked. Yep. He blesses the habitation of the judge. Mm -hmm. Surely he's sworn to scorn him, yep. but he gives grace to the lowly. Yep. The wise shall inherit glory, and shame shall be. Hey, that's right, man. Hey, man. <laughs> the rulership of these devils is very short-lived, man. Does, does, does the scriptures not say that he shall pass away like his own dumb? You know? It, 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 the scriptures also say he will be as he, though he has not been, man. You know? All all, all, all uh, the house of Esau, there should be no remaining, man. You know? There's a life expectancy on this kingdom, the so-called white man's rulership, man, that only the Most High Yahweh knows, man. You know? Not the angels, not Yahweh shot. You know, and they're they're also patiently waiting and, and, and longing for that day when they're gonna get the command from the most high Yahweh to uh you know wreak havoc and destruction upon this this place and also gather the elect all over the four corners of the earth, you know. You have some more rock? Yep. Yeah. Time, go ahead, Ah. Um going back to well, and we're not worried about we're not ready, right? St. Matthew twenty four and um twenty three. Matthew twenty four and twenty three. Yep. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Yep. Right, man. Hey, Yahweh Shah don't even know. You know, the angels don't know. And the, the angels are constantly, you know, you know, uh, uh, waiting. You know, they're seeing what's going on in this earth. You know, they can't wait to get that command from the uh the most high Yahweh, man. You know, to really, really show themselves out in these skies, man. You know? You know, they 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 show they show themselves by way of the chariot right in and out. That's right. All right. And, and, but that's starting to pick up a lot lately. That's right. You know, right. Especially in the recent times, right, the past right. couple months, like chariot sightings and right, things, right. Things, things that the Lord is uh, revealing on the yep. prophet. Yep. It, it, that's not it. That's right. Okay. They, they haven't really like fully shown themselves. Right. They ain't got the right. light from the house. God, like, God. They're limited, man. They can't. You know, they, they really can't show out, man. You know, and that day when they get command from the, the most high, you hey, man, they're really going to show out. You're really going to see what these chariots can do, man. Right. You know? There's more to it, but um, I can say that we're ready for that there. Right. Especially to know the day and hour. That's right. It makes you have to understand how important it is to be prepared. Hey, that's right, man. It says, um, verse 37, but as the, as the days of Noah were, so shall also the comfort of the son of man be. Yep. Verse 38. For as the days they were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving it a marriage. Uh huh. Yeah, they were for partying, rubbing it up. Feel it. Is there anything wrong with eating and drinking? But you know, you got to be careful. Right. People put that on the forefront. Yep. Marrying, wedding ceremonies, having right. sex, doing all types yeah. of stuff, but they ain't focused on the right. on the board. And that eating and drinking also goes into uh, these, these philosophies of doctors. Yeah, that's right? yep. You know, they were drunk off right. that wine, yep. you know, that false doctrine. You know, they, they didn't want to believe, uh, uh, they didn't want to believe uh, Noah, man. You know, they're like, man, Noah, that guy out there, man, he's fucked out. Yep. You know, you, you leave him alone, man. Yep. You know? Yeah, no. Until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Yep. Verse 39, and knew not until the flood came. That's and right. took them all the way. That's right. Hey, it, it, you know, hey, it's the same way they look at us, man. 
You know, they look at us like we're crazy, we're bugged. The other guys talk about UFOs and missiles, you know. They, they talking about, you know, they talking about that the so called white man is the devil, you know. They talking about the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are about to come into rulership, you know. You like those guys is crazy, man, you know. But when, hey, when, when these prophecies begin to come to pass, the things that the men of the Lord said on the highways and byways all over the four corners of the earth start happening. You know, like, hey, like the scripture says, man, then they shall know a prophet that's been among them. Keep going out, right? Uh, it says, uh, Matthew 24 and 39, and knew not until the flood came, took them all away. Yep. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hey, that's right. That's second death, man. It's not going to come in the form of water this time. It's going to come in the form of that thermonuclear fire, man, and take all these people away. Hey, when, rain, when it started raining back in the times of Noah, and eventually when that big, huge wave uh started approaching as well man hey you, then they knew that no what Noah was saying was true you know and they were trying to you know find their way over to that ark you know if they were able to man you know but the most high sealed that ark sealed the ark up man you know the same thing is happening now we're building that spiritual ark and soon you, hey y'all by shimmy y'all shot is gonna seal you know that spiritual ark seal, spiritual ark up and those doors of repentance are gonna be closed until you so-called negroes latinos and native americans okay. you know go ahead Yeah, Noah just wasn't just out out there saying it was going to rain and a flood was coming and, 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 you know, you're going to be destroyed. He was saying a whole lot more than that, man. But that's what they teach you in the Christian church, man. They just say that Noah was out there saying it was going to rain and rain was coming and to get on the ark so you can be saved. He was saying a whole lot more than that, man. You know? Just like we are now. Exactly. We, we, we speak about um, the, the destruction, the nuclear war God. is coming. Yep. But really the main focus of the whole um, gospel is repent and come back yep. right i you know stop the ways of, of babylon exactly. come back in there's a whole this there's, there's a lot to be told okay God, all right God. it's not just oh we, most of us will kill you oh, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's gonna be a nuclear war right Every right system. right no, there's, there's a way out of that nuclear war. it's a way out of the fire but God. you have to get the whole message that's just more to do it than just the death of something yep all right uh i was 14 and 30 and sound hot is the life of the flesh. But envy is right to the bone. Yep. If you have a sound mind, what? You'll, you'll, you'll step when you got it. What? I'm right. You're right. You know? Envy the ways of the flesh. Hey, that's a little deception of you. Right. You're gonna, and you're, your actions are going to go forth. Right. But, but a man is so you know. Hey, we, we was love. Well, too. Uh, you got a lot. Yeah, we was going into that earlier, you know? And taking a hold of that plow and looking back, you know, and being who you used to be, man, and being these worldly niggas, man. Well, exactly. God. And now that monkey started scratching back. Right. He's you're like, man, I really do miss, miss, miss that. Yeah, you know? yeah, God. Yeah. I, I you used, you used to be somebody in the world. Right. You used to be this, you used to be that, you know, these little niggas in the street and the block used to look up to you. You know, now they look at you, now you're different, man. You know, you don't do the same things you used to do, man. You know, your conversation is is different. You're dressing different. You're acting different. You ain't doing, you ain't smoking cigarettes and weed no more, man. You know, you ain't, you ain't gang banging. You ain't selling drugs. You know, you ain't committing adultery. You know, you ain't sinning willfully. You know? Yeah, why not? Let's go, go ahead. I, uh, this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right. Because it is polluted. Yep. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. That's right. This place is not your rest. You're not going to find rest in this place, man. The proof is in the punny is looking at these, look at these Hollywood ass niggas, bro. You know, they ain't got no rest. They got millions of dollars. They got they all over the media. You know, all these people look up to them and think that's what they want to be. They think that they, you know, they, they've gotten to that, that pinnacle of the ladder of success, so to speak. But they ain't happy, man. They got to continue to participate, participate in ritual sacrifices. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They got to do all types of homosexual acts. They got to push uh, the so-called white man, these elite banking families, uh, mainly 
uh, push their agenda, you know, and if they uh, go against that order, you best believe hey, the elites are going to deal with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, real quick, but, uh, um, and this is uh, Psalm, um, this is Psalm 73, uh, from the top, Psalm 73, verse 1. Uh, one down a little bit. Truly, the Most High is good to Israel, yep, even to such as are of a good, of a clean heart. Uh, but as for me, my feet were almost gone, my steps had well nigh slipped, for I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. All right, you see that? So, you know, you gotta look at you gotta protect yourself sometimes, you know. Yep, you know, this is a song that H for me. Yep, um, he's, you know, he's saying, you know, he was, he, he's gonna say, he says, um, for I was envious at the foolish, okay. In other words, he was envious at, at the wicked, because yep. you know, just that sort the prosperity of the wicked, uh, all, right. all the great things that they have in yep. the world, yep. uh, um, you know, they, they can get away with damn near anything, yep. like you know, look at it today, you know, right. we can travel the world right. and, 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 and you know, the world worships them. All right. Okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. on an island, yeah. traveling to this country, that country, yeah. all over TV, uh, people, you know, right. flocking to them, shake their hand, take their picture. Yeah. Okay. Um, it yeah. says, yeah. that's about the fact that they can't get them done. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. The men, they get their way to learn about these stuff. Yeah. You know, they can ain't rat, rat, you know, they can't rat, you know, you know. <laughs> Man, they ain't in trouble like these, uh, like like these other people, man. You know, Esau's living it up. He's he's doing all right, man. You know, he's not in trouble like you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He's not going through the same affliction, pain from day to day. You know, he ain't got to deal with the same affairs that you uh, uh you Israelites have to deal with, man. You know, he ain't worried about his rent. He ain't worried about keeping his job. You know, he ain't getting shot at. Yeah, they took he, him in nice. Beat him up. Yeah, they you know, said, you want cuffs or you want some straps? Right. Sir, please. You want to sit in the Put front? down the right. You want to sit in the front? You know? We don't want to do this. Right, right. We don't want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. he said, Burger King? God. God. Yeah, which, which, which majority of these people fell for that? Because that was nothing but an agenda of the so-called white man. You know, he was set up, man. MK Ultra. you know, these, 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 uh, these crisis actors, man, you know? All that is set up, man. They did the you same know? thing with that cat uh, Dylan Roof uh, yep. uh, years you know, ago. Ah. Yeah, they, they did the same thing with him. They treated him like he was, oh, you know, ah. he didn't have handcuffs on. Like, yep. that murdered him. Like, freed it up. Right, right. Okay? Y'all should have shot him on sight. Yeah. All right, ah. so if that wasn't the case. That's it. Yeah. What's that? Let's uh, take a picture of the sign, man. No. No, no, just a sign, bro. Uh, it says... Uh, back in Psalm 73, Psalm 71, like, uh, uh, verse 5. Man, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he could have been like, okay, respect. You know, he could have been like, I, 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 I respect it, I respect it. But he, like, he, like, yo, wait, he's waving, he's waving hands. He's fan, they stand their hands. Right. Um, but back here, Psalm 73 and, uh, and 5, it says, They are not in trouble as other men. Right. Uh, neither are they played like other men. Right. You know, you look at the so called white man, all right. And his and his cohorts, uh, they just prosper, prosper. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't fall in, in the same position as football black Hispanic exactly. Americans out here right. trying to scrape the 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 this to pay car payment or right. whatever the case may be. You can't do nothing. Right? Are you you, you speeding a little? You going two miles over the speed limit? You getting your ass pulled over? Now you got like two hundred dollars speeding yeah, ticket. Yeah. You know, and now you got to either pay that right. or you got to get uh, food for your children. Right. It's like you gonna take your license right. away. 
You ain't plugged in like Esau, man. Hey, you know, these Edomites, when they born, they, they're born with good credit. You know, they born plugged in. They usually born into money. You know, the father's father, father knows somebody high up in ranks, and they can get the strings pulled. When they go to court, when they get pulled over, you know, strings are being pulled, man. You know, there's a whole lot of thing that a whole lot of things that go on under the table. Man. You know, it's not just what meets the eye, man. And that's what a lot of our people they don't realize, man. They don't see what's going on behind closed doors. You know, they don't see, you know, what's going on under the surface, man. All they see was put right in front of them, man. And they eat it right up. And and, and, and these Edomites, the so-called white man, they know that, man. These elites, they know that that you you Jakes are just gonna eat right up, eat whatever they put right before you, whatever they put on your plate, you know. But you don't see the ingredients, you know. That's why this character. Going into it, you know, this, this place is not your rest because uh, Jake has been placed into that rat race of trying to obtain the way that Esau is living. Okay, yep. but it's all been made the way that he's set up. It's it's just naturally comes to him. You have you setting traps, man. <laughs> you throwing in a in a in a race with a bunch of traps that he set up. That right. you, you never feel comfortable and you never get to that position. Man. <laughs> and if you do, if you get to a certain level, you been you completed. Waste away your soul, man. right? And hey, you tired as hell. Yeah. When a rat makes it to the end of that obstacle course, he's tired as hell. He's damn near about to die. That's you niggas, man. Here it is. You you want to climb that ladder of success? You want to run that rat race like your brother was bringing out? You know, and when you, if you actually obtain your goal, you know, of being a celebrity, making a multi million dollars, now you tired as hell. You didn't sacrifice your mom, your kids. You know what I'm saying? You you you're a homosexual. You know, you wearing a goddamn dress. You know, you done done all this, all this, all this stuff, and and, and the money no longer makes you happy. Man. You know, before you got fame and all that, your money would actually make you happy. You know, to a certain standpoint, you know, you could enjoy it more. You know, you done made it uh, uh, to a to a certain status that you have always longed for and tried to obtain, and you reached that. Now you just uh, 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 completely bugged out of your mind, man. And you actually wish that you could go back to not being famous no more. Now, now, now you contemplate yeah. you know, things like you, right. you play, you taking the drugs, drugs up. all types of drugs yeah. that you, you you learn in school and that, oh, they know to this guy. And you're actually picking up, snitching all types of shit up. Now you're contemplating, oh, this, 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 you know, all right. Yeah, all right. And, you, and you're rich. Yeah. You know, people are rich and they, and they contemplate yeah. and they're taking their own life. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. they end up doing it. Yeah. It's deep. Yeah. Oh, it's just yeah. dying to rich. Already. Yeah. 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 It works though. Oh, but, uh, reading on here, I'm gonna skip down a lot. It says uh, back to 73, Psalm 73, first, uh, first, um, seven. I'm gonna skip down a little bit. It says that I stand out with fatness. They have more than their heart can wish. Yep. They are corrupt. Yep. And speak wickedly concerning oppression. Yep. They speak wickedly. Yep. They speak wickedly concerning oppression, man. You know, look at these 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 schools, these uh these, these high schools, even colleges, when they teach you or even go into slavery, you know, they sugarcoat it so bad, man. It looks like basically like it wasn't nothing, man. They even tell you that your own people sold you into slavery, man. You know, so they tell you a bunch of madness. They don't go into what happened to the to, uh, the so-called Native American Indian. You know, why why is it, and they don't even really touch on that in these in, in these high schools, man. You know, they don't even touch what happened to the so-called uh, uh, Native Americans, man. You know, you know, all they go into is you so-called blacks, you know, and they really just scrape the surface of that, you know. Real quick, this is, uh, James chapter four, verse four. The adulterers and adulteresses. Right. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is an enmity with the most high? Ooh. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the most high. That's right. So you're going to make yourself an enemy to... Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. By following the ways of this world, chasing the bag, climbing that ladder of success, thinking that the so-called white man is going to save you and rescue you, you know? And, and the scriptures is clear what the Most High is going to do to his enemy. Yeah, and it, going into that joining, hand in, you know, uh, hand joining hand. Right? Yep. You know? You're trying to be, you know, holding Esau's hand like y'all right. are equal. Right. Well, he don't even look at you as an equal. Yep. Okay? And it's going to lead you to your destruction. Right? Yep. Because right. you you wanted to be joined onto to the world and to the this lifestyle because yeah. it's it's like you know the spirit of a woman you know they seeking the pleasure uh -huh. that's why the scripture says she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth man uh -huh. and Israel is the wife of the Lord man right we're spouse unto her but they're trying to live that pleasurable life right and they're holding on to that here in the flesh because the flesh is what it is what feels good yeah. that's why Satan yep. put Esau eat him that's that's a satanic vibration that he puts out on our yep. people is that yolo lifestyle. Do what makes you feel good, you know. That's 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 wicked, man. Living that that way, you're supposed to do what pleases the Lord, not yourself. 
right, you know? But again, that's what the world teaches. That's why the Lord is adamant about departing from this place, man. Yep. And Brother Richard, um, and reading all back here, Psalm 73, verse uh, verse 9, they set their mouth, they set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue walketh through the earth. Therefore his people return hither, and the waters of a full cup are wrung out to them. Here's, here's another point, verse 11, and they say, how does, how does the most high know? And there, and is there knowledge in the Most High? So basically, they're questioning. You know, the Most High don't see what we're doing, right? He, he ain't really. You know, that's not a real power. I'm invisible sky guy that y'all praying right, through. That, right. that, that shit don't exist. That's all these these so-called you know crackers that like even two thirds of our own people they basically yeah. like that. Even though they go to church, yeah, yeah, you know, but they don't really have the faith, right? And and the Heavenly Father. So if they had the faith and the fear of the Heavenly right. Father, what would they do? Yeah. The same thing we're doing, that's right? Okay, yeah. you women would all be in order. Okay, you doing your best to please right. the heavenly father, but you what it says is and they say, How does it says, How does God know? And is there knowledge in the most high? That's yeah. what you're saying. Right. It says, Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world, yep. they increase in riches. Yep. You see? Yeah, yep. these hey, these pastors, these preachers, man, mm -hmm. they increase in riches, man. You know, these pastors and preachers ain't doing bad, man. You know, and the majority of you, you, you Israelites have been blinded. By the God of this world, man. You know, we've been blinded by these elite Edomites. We've been bamboozled by the elites, man. You know, you really don't know what's going on, man. You know? Um, yeah. Go ahead, I. Oh, let's see. Um, first John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Uh, you got it, Yeah, love not the world, man. Like this. Brothers going into like take each other out, doing all these you know different rituals to be a part of um you saw a circle. Really, you'll never be. All right, right. you know our people are killing their ways to please the devil. All right, but at the end of the day, scripture tells us to love not the world. Everything written for time is written for our learning. So called Negroes that see those Native Americans. Right. It says um verse sixteen for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father. But it's of the world. You know what it is? Also, pride, uh, flesh, harm, carnality. Yep. Rather than because he, he's not spiritual at all. So mm -hmm. obviously, he's not him. But when you sell your soul to the devil, when you, when you get involved in his uh, rituals, all these different things, yep. you become pride. Right. Uh, carnal. Right. You know? And like the scripture says, pride goes before destruction, before destruction man. You yeah, know? Yeah. Hey, look at the level of the pride. Even with these uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Look at look at the pride. A, a bum on the street will come up and say some prideful shit to you, yep. man. And he ain't got nothing, man. Yep. You know. So, so man, and, and, and these elite, I mean, these these Edomites definitely got pride, man. Yep. You know, their, their pride is at an all-time high, man. You know. Hey, a little bit more. God, you got it out. Verse sixteen says, "For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh." Like verse seventeen, and the world passed away with the point. Yep. And the lust thereof, yep. like he that doeth the will of the most high abide it forever. Yeah, look, it looks right. like you winning. Right. Like you okay, yeah. You know, Dwayne Wade, he, he right, sold right. his son out, right? He got all the riches, he got commercials, God. he got he, he, he's on a um a game show. Yeah. All these actors and actresses, they so look right. like they winning right yeah. now, right? It looked like they're in the head of the race. Right. Here it is, it was a it was a, it was a five mile, it was a marathon. Right. But, uh, these niggas took off full speed, mm -hmm. like they was in a hundred yard dash. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they look like they're in the lead right now. Mm -hmm. You know, but the, the race ain't over with yet. Right. You know, right. you got it up. So, so everybody who's called, who's full of pride, or heathen nation, and two thirds of the nation of Israel that sold out, you want to perish when the Lord brings destruction on the place. Right? You know, it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like we're losing. I think I have to get the right now, but it's like, it's like man, it looked like, we, look like we're losing. It looked like we're dying. <laughs> Yeah, you look yeah, like you get the word in the face. Yeah, I was in the hospital where that but um, it looks like we're dying. It looks like we we gonna lose. And that's how the Lord works. It's like yep. we clearly the underdog. You know what I mean? And everybody else does not even considering yep. all right, uh, um so called black defense, Native American Americans being rulers for anything. All you hear is for the entertainment. Okay. Mm -hmm. The little what we're doing right here, what they call it, foolishness, we look stupid and crazy out here. Okay, that's these people and they look at us like we bunch of fools, it's crazy, like they're crazy. And then they pass by the camp and they hear stuff. Like, they, you know, they, they, can, they, they write the extreme. All right. They want us out of here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't get um, um, But um, 
But um, but yeah, that's that's what it's supposed to look it's supposed to look like, and we have no chance mm-hmm. in hell of, of of coming up on any kind of level in this world until, of course, the Lord uh, uh, flexes the power. Yeah. Yeah. Proverbs twenty three in uh, seven, mm-hmm. seventeen. Let not thine heart be sinner, but be thou in the field the Lord all day long. But surely there is an end, and that expectation shall not be cut off. Hear thou, my son, and be wise, and guide thine heart in the way. Be not among wine drippers, among right people of flesh. Right. You know, hey, man. <laughs> and our people, man, they, they, they're, they're completely drunk off them philosophies and doctrines, man. You know, that wine, man. You know, they're, 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 they're drunk off of religion, you know, these false doctrines, and even these false things that are taught amongst these other camps, man. You know, these camps that don't teach that 100% doctrine, man. You know, they're drunk off the ways of the world, feminism, you know, politics, you know, all, 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 the, all the madness that goes on in, in Babylon as well as uh, uh, various parts of the earth, man, you know, and they choose not to repent and come back to the true power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, you know, they're comfortable with Christianity, man. They're comfortable being uh, Islam or, or, or Roman Catholic, you know. Hey, they're comfortable just believing in nothing, man. You know, they believe in themselves, man. They believe in their own heart. You know, they believe that there's no God, man. You know, like the scripture says, only a fool is said in, their, in, in his heart that there is no God, that there is no power, man. You know, they believe in the Big Bang Theory, man. They think that everything just banged together and it's just going, to, you know, uh, uh, be here for eternity, you know. You brought his hat something? Um, I got something. I got one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 54 and uh, 16. Behold, I have created the smith that blow the, the coals in the fire. And that smith is that scientist, you know. The most how you have us put in these scientists' minds, okay, the information and the knowledge to to, to make these nuclear missiles, these warheads, these propulsion systems, these sat- satellite guidance systems, and all this technology that you're using, man, okay, for the, the weapons of the Lord's uh, uh, indignation, his righteous anger, man, you know? It says, and and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, you know? That's an instrument for the work of who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, you know? It's not for them, okay? Because let's face it, man, if, if it was for them, they would realize and see that we're making these missiles for our own demise, for our own destruction, to destroy our own kingdom, man, our own houses, our kids, our colleges, our businesses, you know? It says, and I've created the waster to destroy, and that waster is that nuclear missile, man, that nuclear warhead, you know? That's going to be shot off in the millions, man. You know, it's going to blot out the sun, you know? And it's going to hit uh, uh, America, you know, Babylon the Great, and and various other parts of the earth, man, you know? Go ahead, I this is Revelation chapter 9 and verse 15. And the four angels were loose, which were, prepared, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to play the third part of men. Right. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, and I heard the number of them. And I saw the horse, and I saw the horsemen in the vision, and and them that sit on them as a breastplate of fire yep. and Jason yep. and brimstone and the heads of the horses were the heads of wine right. out of their mouth into fire, smoke, and brimstone. All right, and that's that nuclear missile, man. You know, when them nuclear missiles are shot off, does not have a fire coming behind that nuclear warhead. Almost look like a, a, a lion's mane. You know what I'm saying? And it says, the, uh, uh, read that last part again, Bob. Uh, the last piece Yeah. This is Revelation 9 and 17. It's the last part of it. Okay. And uh, I'm sorry. And the heads of the horses yep. were as the heads of lions. Yep. And out of their mouths issued fire, smoke, and brimstone. Uh-huh. That's right, man. Out of that nuclear warhead, man. You know, it's going to uh, uh, wreak a uh, uh, great destruction, man. You know? And like we always like to bring out, what's, hey, what's the degrees of a nuclear oh, missile? Yeah, 100 million degrees Celsius, man. You ain't going to be able to make it through that. Hey, and the, the highest boiling point of any element on the planet Earth is like 7,000 degrees. Hey, that's beautiful because we was going into that two weeks ago. Are the elements yeah, going to melt? melt You're going to get splashed with the elements. Yeah. You know, for the nuclear, for the fire even hits you, 
yeah. aluminum that melted and ripped through your body. Yeah. You know, Ox- you know, kind. Oxygen's gonna catch fire. That's right. Yeah. Hey, them yeah. heavens go. Hey, that's right. Help heavens. You know, she'll be she'll melt away, man. Oh, you yeah, know, you kind, know, kind. Oh, and then brimstone. If you look up brimstone, it's the actual flint agent. It's a pure, it's a purifying mm-hmm. agent. And that's beautiful. Man. That's the word brimstone. God. Uh, uh, verse nine, verse eighteen. It says, "By these was the third part of men killed yep. by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth. Right. For their power is in their mouth yep. and in their tails. Yep. For their tails were like unto serpents. Yep. And and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And that's right. Because in a nuclear missile, any missile, when you see a missile shot off. It's got a long trail line, man. You know, kind of a squiggly line. You can see where it came from, the direction it, it, it was shot off from, so to speak. You know, but all the power is in that warhead, man. Everything else is just propulsion and a guidance system to get it to its location, man. You know, destroy the third part of man. That's right. Yep. Which would be the wicked. Yep. Okay. Which would be who? All right. Who is really the the wicked? Okay. Right. Yep. And people are wicked. But who's the wicked? Who right. got that title? It's so called white. He's still eat him. Right. right. The one that's in charge. And he's, 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 he's seemingly created through the spirit of the Lord, of course. Yep. You know, that's going to slay himself. He's going to destroy himself. All right. There's a little more. Uh, verse verse 20. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and, wood, and of wood, which neither which neither can see nor hear nor walk, neither repent the day of their murder, nor of their sorcery, nor of their fornication, nor of their death. Yep. Yeah, I just feel man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, and and we get it, man. We know that the majority of all people aren't going to repent, man. We know the majority of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to keep, you know, trying to be one with the world. You know, keep climbing that ladder of success. You know. Keep following these false doctrines in, in, the, in these religions, you know, and being a, a fed with, the, with what goes on in the world. They're going to keep being homosexuals, you know. They're going to keep going against the law, statutes, and commandments, you know. <clears throat> Go ahead, I. Uh, Jeremiah 59. For lo, I will raise and call to come up against Babylon, yep. an assembly of great nations mm. from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From this shall be taken. Speaking of Babylon the Great, America, right. you know, uh, and, and that uh, North country, Russia shall out. It. it says, and they shall set themselves in array against her, for this shall she be taken. Their arrows, hmm. you know, uh, the nuclear weapons, the, the missiles, yep. shall be as of a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. So, you know, uh, when, um, John the Revelator, when he's busy, he describes those missiles as arrows. Uh-huh. You know? Because he's seen the vision of them, them, you know, being shot off from yep. one continent to another, and they didn't return the bank. Every every missile hit their mark. Yep. Or like like the scripture was. says, one should not thrust it through another. Bro. God, 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 beautiful. Yeah, go ahead. This is Joel chapter 2, and uh, I'm going to start at verse 6. I should have started up, but I'm going to start at 6. It says, Before their faces, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. Uh, going into the shock when they, they when they see the damn thermal nuclear missile coming. We've been warning the people through the spirit of the Lord, but they don't want to take heed. And if they do, by this time it's gonna be too late. Yep. It says they shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his on his way, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path, yep. and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. That's right. So they're all going to walk upon their path. You know, the technology that this devil has gotten, you know, through the left hand side and through, through the most high Yahweh. Hey, man, their satellite guidance system is expertise, man. You know, they're, they're not going to break no ranks, man. They're not going to be thrusting and blowing up in the air, hitting one, hit, hit another. Know, you know, right. and yeah. Esau's, Esau's missile defense system. Is going to be useless in that time, and really, America's going to be taken down from the inside out, man. You know, all his defense system is going to be completely shut down, man. You must be crazy if you don't think these other nations got sleeper cells that are amongst, you know, these high-level positions and the mm-hmm. government and the military, the navy, you know, all these different uh, branches of of, of 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 military, man. You know, so th- th- these missiles aren't going to break their ranks, and and, uh, and they're going to be guided, you know, uh, by the angels, man. You know. If I, if I got, um... 
Exactly. Hypersonic. They got nuclear powered nuclear missiles, you know, that they can just keep going around the earth. You know, <laughs> that just re repower themselves, you know, from the sun, you know. What can you do to stop that? That's how the Lord has to think about it. It's going to be just no chance to stop it. This prophecy must come to pass. Right. And you're not going to be able to, 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 uh, to uh, um, upset that prophecy through your technology. Uh -huh. Those that gave you in the first place, you know? Yep. Um, right. You want to bring out your first? Or you want to build a little more? Oh, board. yeah, come on, come on. Uh, verse 9, it says, they shall run to and fro in the city. Yep. They shall run up upon the they shall run upon the wall. Yep. They shall climb up, up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a speech. Verse uh, 10. Right. They shall push yeah, 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 the The heaven shall tremble, the sun and the moon shall shall block it. The sun and the moon. Now you the good, sun huh? and the moon shall be dark uh, and so right. and the stars shall withdraw their sun. And hey, this is just like the brother man side was saying. Are, are going to be guided by the spirit of the water. Nothing's going to stop. All right. All right. All right. You can bring out, keep going, keep going. You know, yeah. whatever I got, want to bring out. This is uh, Isaiah chapter twenty-four, verse eighteen, and it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. There ain't gonna be no escaping the judgment of the Lord, man. Right. And if you escape all the the, the the plagues and the judgments, eventually the missiles are gonna get you. Mm -hmm. So it says, "For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake." Now, just like in the time of Noah, brothers, we were talking about that earlier. Mm -hmm. The Lord opened up those windows and allowed the rain to come, mm -hmm. but the promise was that the Lord would not flood the earth by water again. So this time the windows, when they open up, <laughs> it's gonna be fire that's gonna come down, uh, raining upon these people, man. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures talk about fire and brimstone start raining down upon them. Mm -hmm. Okay? So it says, um, verse 19, the earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean, dissolved. The earth is removed exceedingly, or is moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Yeah. So how is the earth going to reel to and fro? Thermonuclear destruction. You know, and we brought out earlier uh second Peter third chapter about a uh, new earth that word new goes into um Greek word kinos. How is it gonna be refreshed by the thermonuclear destruction? But America's never gonna be um inhabited again, man. Okay. Um second Ezra chapter sixteen. I'm gonna start at I'm gonna start off a little bit, I'm gonna start at verse uh seven. I'm gonna read on down. Um, it says uh may may one turn again the arrow that is shot from a strong archer. Ooh. Okay, what's that arrow? The thermal nuclear destruction. How you gonna when that when um nukes get shot off, how you gonna reverse that? How you gonna change how you gonna stop that, man? You got to even look at it in the sense of an actual archer. Yeah, so what you don't yeah. well, what you gonna do? You gonna grab it in the middle of that right. no, it don't work that way. Ain't no strength, ain't no strength Lord sendeth the plague, and who is he that can drive them away? And what, what's a plague? The, the, the nukes. The, the ultimate plague, Lord refers to those uh, uh, nukes as uh, the ultimate plague. Uh, Zechariah, I believe, the 14th chapter. How are you going to drive away the plagues the Lord's got set out? Verse 9. A fire shall go forth from his wrath, mm -hmm. and who is he that may quench it? Yep. He shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Yep. The Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, shall threaten him. Yep. And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? Okay? Hey, man, you're supposed to fear the Lord in the mm -hmm. first place before all that shit happened. Yep. Okay? He's going to the book of Jeremiah. So, you know, he's talking about, hey, fear ye not me? 
Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm doing, I, I'm holding the, the ocean in places. Yeah, right. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Respect his power? I mean, that's it. The Lord being facetious. Like, yo, you can't do that. Yo, we can right. the Lord. Yo, we understand. The real point is coming up here, um, real soon. Verse 12 The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea arises up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are tumbled, and the fishes thereof also, before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. For it says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp. Mm-hmm. And shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. There you so go. is known by the judgment in which he executed. These nukes, man, this right here is going to is going to put fear upon the whole earth. The Lord is going to be known by the judgment we bring to pass. His, his plagues, they, you know, he's speaking to his prophets, telling you the things going to happen before they happen. So when the nuclear destruction takes place and Babylon great is taken down, these people don't believe Babylon will ever go down. When it goes down, the Lord is, is going to be feared. That name is going to be feared across the earth. It says, um, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Who's the wicked? The Edomite. Malachi uh, 1 and 4. It proves exactly who the wicked is. They're going to be snared, meaning trapped, in the work of their own hands. What are they building? Nukes. Just to destroy themselves. He that living by the sword shall die by the sword. They're going to blow themselves up. Yep. And they're going to blow themselves up like, 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 Hey, hey. I got a quick one. Uh, Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments grown in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Look at the, yeah, Con, you look at the ancient um, uh, movies, movies like um, uh, uh, Helen and Troy, yeah. all these different um, even the, even the movie gladiators. The brother was going yeah, the brother's going in too. Braveheart. Yeah. 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 All these ancient movies or movies based on ancient times, right. they were fought hand to hand combat, right. wars, all that, you know, cutting people up, blood everywhere. It was very graphic. God. But it, this, this right. war, this, this battle can be fought with the That's nukes. Right. And then new battles took a long time. Mm-hmm. New battles by the last month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it ain't going to take long for this place yeah. to be destroyed. We're all right. Say one, one hour. hour. It could be no months. It could be no years. Mm-hmm. You know, hand to hand. Right. You know, arrows to fishing, going back with right. the group of people going back to battle here, the other side. You know what I'm saying? Flanking. You know, 
Pride chat, take the chat. Right. You know, it ain't gonna be none of that, man. You know, one those, hour. These things are supposed to make the land desolate. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Completely, utterly destroy all life. That's right. Okay. All all things. You know? right. It's a waste. It's called the waste. Right. Uh, Great waste. Uh, um, that was about that. Yeah, was that was it. Uh, 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 let me read a little bit more in the second chapter, sixteen. Uh, we was at. Uh, we read that whole verse fourteen. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. It says the fire is kindled. And shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. Mm -hmm. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. You got it. All right. See that? So once these, and, and that, see now, plagues are actually happening right now. Yeah. Okay. So you, things that happen on the earth, you can't send it back. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to say certain key words, but right. you know what I'm saying? Like you can't you can't turn it around. Right. Okay. It's it's happening already. People are already losing their life. Right. Okay. Right. And they're okay, say you just pulled out. Well, guess what? The next the next wave of whatever the Lord got planned uh -huh. is gonna happen to you. Yeah. All okay. right. And already, uh, you know, the, 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 the animal pots, I don't want to say. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah, 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 new yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The new pestilence. The new thing. Yep. Yeah, so so pestilence is part of the plague, okay? Yep. And then the ultimate plague being the nuclear destruction that's that's prophesied to come here on the earth. Nothing that any of us down here on the earth can do to turn that back or to quell it. We can put up signs. Oh, yeah, no more love. This. No, right, right. people don't want that. Man. Right. All right. It says, I'll read that last verse again. Like as a mighty archer was shot. Let me select this. Like, like as an arrow was shot of a mighty archer to turn it not backwards. Okay. It's like brother going into that movie there. So like we've been the same. Mm -hmm. Can't turn the arrow back on, on the shooter. Right. It says, even so the place that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. They're gonna come and they're gonna hit their target. That's right. All right. And the same thing with the nuclear mm -hmm. well. Right. They ain't gonna bump into each other in the sky. Right. They ain't gonna blow up prematurely. They ain't right. gonna malfunction. No, all this is gonna work like like the charm. Right. And that's it. It's gonna work perfectly. Yeah. Optimally. Yeah. Like yeah. like, you know, the motor Yeah. 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 
Staying in military. Yep. Staying in military. What happened? Yep. You know? Had to keep her at home. See, there, see, there was no need for them to give you that type of technology back in the seventies. You know, early eighties, sixties. You know, because they were at that point of pushing and mandating for us. Now they're at the point of pushing the garage on a high level of mandate. You see all this new technology coming out there. Mm-hmm. You actually want to make it uh, lucrative and uh, eye appealing to you to take that garage on. Will, Willie, yep. before they make it mandatory, everything's going to be hooked up to that garage on. The satellites, the phones, the iPad, the camera system, you know, the money system, your car, you know, your, it's basically everything. You know, so it's going to be convenient for these people to get it. You know, like, why, why, I want, why would I not want to just? Go to my car, put my hand mm-hmm. up, walk, walk in the grocery store and then walk out with a whole bunch of groceries and get a receipt, email to me, you know? Now I have to go to the counter. It's quick, simple, convenient, you know? Yeah, it, 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 right. Right. Put my hand on the yeah. right. It's right. safer, yeah. you know? Right. right. They don't have to worry about the kids, so called getting abducted, mm-hmm. this right. and that, you know? Yep. And you best believe it's never going to push out a scenario that, you know, a whole bunch of kids got arrested.
for this end this up. Yep, a lot, not a lot. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, um, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, mm-hmm. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. And how is it going to speak through the yeah. occurrence of these prophecies? These prophecies are going to be taking place, and it's going to be uh, infallible proofs as when Yahweh was up with the uh, with the disciples. Yep, his word, his word. It was infallible. It was undeniable. Just like these prophecies are infallible. You know, infallible proof, you can't deny it. A famine. Who would ever thought a famine would take place, right? We we knew the spirit Lord made us pray the other. But the Lord, but also we know the Lord would shut the whole earth down with the you know T one one nine, man. You know, but all these things are speaking loud and clear. You say famine, people think that oh it's gonna still be no rain, no more prophecy. The Lord ain't gonna bring the family like that. Right. It's gonna be a yeah. financial situation. Oh. They're gonna, they gonna raise, raise the price to a point where everything's gonna be un, unreachable. Right. And then it's just gonna get raided. Mm-hmm. And then when you try to go buy something, it's ain't gonna be nothing there to buy. Right. All right. And even if you even if you can, even there is stuff on the shelves, you're not gonna be able to afford it before they start raiding it. Mm-hmm. So there's your family right there. There you go. Yep. You're gonna play, yep. Yeah, exactly. have a booking man. Yep. yep. And if you think about it, if you are able to go in there and buy some shit, the food, you got to think about it. People that's on the outside, they got guns and pistols and all that shit. Wait for you to come out. The robbery will end. You're going to give up your food and you're going to die. Yeah, you'll be a fool to walk out with your food. Right. Yeah, what up, cuz? Right, right, right. You're going to walk out with your food. You're going to walk out with your food. You're going to walk out with your food. You're going to pay for it. You got to sit in your jeans and pockets. You're going to walk out with your food. You know? Yeah, yeah, you got shoved down your you pants and shit. Right, right. They'll be like, yo, it's that chicken. Yo, I like chicken. Yo, let me see that. Yo, oh, <laughs> thank you. It'll be take, it's gonna take it from you. That's right. It says, um, go with Terry. Mm-hmm. Wait for it. Yeah, hey, it was tearing at one point in time, right? Right. Things had to be in place, you know, uh, before, you know, things could speed up even more. But Lord said, um, Lord's gonna speed up time for the elect sake. Right. So now you speed, see time speeding up. Well, obviously, we're close to the end of this man's foolishness. Right? Okay, because it will surely come. Uh huh. It will not tear. It ain't gonna tear. And that's why you know we open up with scripture of uh Second Peter the third chapter, man. We in high times to wake out of sleep, man. This is very delicate times that we're in, critical times. You know, even uh we're holding ourselves accountable too, us in the truth, man. We don't we we don't have any um legitimate excuse as to why we should be pushing mashing hard on the gas in these times, man, to make our calling electric sure, man, because the promises is uh, clearly speaking, and they're not carrying. Can I get the definition of wait right quick? Do it. It says wait, right? and the verb is an action because the, our waiting is an action. It says stay where one is or delay action until a particular time Ooh. or until something else happens. Well, it says used to indicate that one is eagerly impatient to do something or for something to happen. Uh-huh. Hey, and that goes into uh, in second Ezra, the, the second chapter. It says, uh, I believe on the 13th verse, where it says, uh, pray for two days. Because you are eager for the damn place to uh, go down, man. Yep. But while we are eager for it to go down, we are waiting patiently because it's self security. It's coming quick. Yep. It's like a, a terrible thing. You're not know, having no, don't, don't, but, uh, That's right. And scripture also says, wait ye upon me as I rise up to the prayer. So when you see these prophecies come to pass, we get very cheerful, man. We get excited. Because we know this is a, a, a measurement, second half of the ninth chapter, knowing that we at the end just yep. uh, of measuring the time. Um, yeah, I got, yep, I got yep, whatever brother got. Uh, I got a quick one yep, real quick. Yep. Romans 3 and 3 says, For what if some do not, did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Yeah, how will forbid? Yep. If, if I could just say, you got a lot of our people that don't believe, just like in the times of Acts. Right. Some believe, some believe not. We brought out yesterday, um, the gospel preached unto us as well as unto them. Right. But it wasn't mixed with faith, so it didn't profit them. All so right. that's just a part of prophecy. You ain't gonna have all nation of Israel believing. The streets should be flooded, right? Now. <laughs> uh, yeah. We just we just mmm. Right. It says, Yahweh forbid, yet let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy saying, yep. and mightest overcome uh-huh. when thou art judged. And how are you going to be justified in the saying? The, the man who was speaking 100% truth going to the Bible, the prophecy is going to be coming to pass. They're going to be speaking, right. justifying the exact thing certain men were saying. Then you're going to know a prophet had been among you as he called to the Spirit. Right. You know? And we pray that we overcome, man. You know, these times 
by patiently waiting, as the brother brought up the scripture, eagerly, eagerly waiting, man. That's you know? Right. Hey, good morning. Good morning to the first scripture we brought out to take a chance. Yep. You know, the brother brought out. Yep. So, thanks for the first time upon the Lord. Yep. You know? Right. Yeah, folks. All right. Um, well, what you just read there, um, this is the book of 2nd Ezra, 15th chapter, we'll start at verse 3. It says, now, I'm going to start at the top. It says, uh, behold, yep, 2nd Ezra, 15, verse 1. I'm going to read a few verses. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Me too, man. <laughs> and we're going to keep bringing it out. Yeah. You know, because, hey, hey, we... We bring this out all the time. We bring out these same chapters all the time because this is the time that we're in. Uh -huh. All right. So it says, first verse, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the so called black, Spanish, mm -hmm. Native American, yeah. the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Uh, verse three, fear not, here's the point, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. They said that I shall put the, uh, the word that I shall put in my mouth. Yahweh shines that word. Yep. And the spirit of Yahweh shines prophecy. Woo! So, so the, the, the prophecy that we're telling these people, you know, this is the things that we're telling them, but uh -huh. they don't believe. In the in your house, right? Yep. Just like they didn't believe on him back then. Yep. yep. Except this time now, he ain't coming with the message of healing. His message is of destruction. That's right. Yep. Damn. Yeah. You know, so what if some do not believe? All the old people are gonna die. They're gonna die. That's right. The Lord's gonna kill them. Yep. Okay. And that's real, that's part of the gospel. Uh, that's part of the, the, the holy gospel. Uh -huh. Like y'all, uh, y'all don't even know what you're talking about. Right. Just talking about death in here, man. All right. All right? If I can say it here, you said a beautiful word. The gospel means good news, right? So it's good news that two thirds, yeah, <laughs> hey, two thirds going down with these heathen nations. That's good news. That's a part of that cleansing process, man. That's good. Yep. I will read one more verse. Verse five. Behold, saith the Lord Yahweh, Hashem Yahshai, I will bring plagues upon the world: uh -huh. the sword, yep. famine, death, and destruction. Here's your problem. No. Okay, so that's your warning. The Most High, which is called God. Okay, Heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh. I already call Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the only God Son. Yep. Letting you know that the sword, the famine, death, destruction are coming. And if you don't believe it, you're going to die. Right. All right, you might die of famine. You might die. You might get shot. All right. You might get you might get the, the old the plague, the new plague, mm -hmm. the, new, the new 2020 plague that's coming out. All right. You might catch it. Yep. All right. Uh, that's that's a, that's a hey, man. The Lord is giving you a warning by the mouth of the prophet. Yep. Like you just need to run that. If you hear it, you can read it for yourself and you need to, to take action. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Second Edge 7 and 20. But that be many that heaven should No, some, bro. It's some. It's a few, right? Well, not many. It's a few, right? Read that again. <laughs> I like that word, man. This too. That's one. This one. He says, Second Edge 7 and 20. There be many that perish uh -huh. in this life. Because they despise the law of the hour that is set before them. You got it. Hey, like the uh says, like brother was going in. Hey, the brother was brought out. I'm telling you, he brought it out. Hey, then the sword, mm -hmm. you know, it's all coming to our people. Right. And uh, all in one part of the world. Yep. See what the Lord is doing to the heathens in the, in the other country. Yep. You know, what? Tsunami. Yes. Uh, 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 disasters, floods, mm -hmm. tornadoes, yep. earthquakes. What are you going to get a fucking yeah. slaughter? Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Real famine, yep. cannibalism. Mm -hmm. And real quick too, and they said that uh they despise the law. Your house side said the law, it is written of me. Yep. So again, going back to yep. your house side. Despising right. his word. Can I get the definition for despise right there? Yeah. Yeah. It says despise to look down all with disrespect. And, and what did he just say? <laughs> Can I take a picture of yep. 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 you know? Ooh. I'm pretty sure he knew who he was. Right. Hey, the word is out now, man. Uh -huh. Hey, what is the Lord doing? Hey, we were, we were pushing our shot. It's right. Everybody. Everybody knows who we are now, man. Isn't that no? Well, what are y'all doing? You know? right. What are y'all guys think? No, everybody knows who we are now. Right. You know? So there's no acting dumb or acting like you're, you're belligerent to this because you know what it says. The Lord is, is pushing that spirit out, man. Yep. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, the Lord is, is, is allowing you to do this. To fight for death. Right. What, what did you do to say? Right. And, and in our actuality, nobody knew how to push the death of Jesus. Right. I'm going to finish the death of Jesus. It says, uh, to 
look down on all the different things or versions, uh, the size that he did it was an example, but definitely due to regard as a negligible, hey, worthless or You know, we got to who are they? Put your body. If I could just say that, uh, you could fit in that definition, but if I could just say what would make someone look down on someone, pride. Right. Right. The Lord said, for many great miseries shall be brought upon the world for their pride. Right. Yeah, hey, look, the Lord says, I hate someone that's poor and prideful. Yeah. What are people got to be prideful about? I get Esau, this devil. Right. I get why he's prideful. You know, he's ruling the earth right now. But what about people got, uh, why are they prideful? Why is ashes why, why are these people prideful though? It's specifically our people, man. The poor. It says, to regard as negligible, worthless, or distasteful, despise organized, organized religion. And like the brother said, that they, they despise, you read that they despise the law, and the brother was going into how the law is written up the law, so in all actuality, they despise the law. You have about them outside. There be many that perish in his life because they despise the law of the other and accept the court. Yep. And the court yep. Hey, the Lord told us to come back to life. So, hey, look at that. We need to see things like that back in the I know, right? They get the beauty of the mic. Hey, I mean, damn. They act like tears, man. Right. Hey, yeah, hey, going back to back. Right yeah, you're right. Yep. He would have never tried. Oh, oh, oh yeah, my God. Right, right. Yeah, right. automatic speed. Yeah, never happened. Oh, they got that legend coming for that track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have given the straight commandment uh -huh. such as pain, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. The word observe means to keep. The Lord told you, look, if you do this, you're going to live. But if you do this, you're going to die. It was straight. It was, it was clear, cut, concise. And he did it through a mediator, Moses. Made it clear. And then he, he sent his prophets over time, Jeremiah 28 and 8. In ancient times, the Lord sent his prophets to tell you how to get right with it, how to amend your ways. But I'll be like, nah, we love them. And, and they don't say it, but they do it because they, they, they show it by the evil deeds. Right? They said, preach not unto the right things, but lies and deceits. You know? And Ooh, that's what they got, though. The biggest liar. And deceiver on the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they were giving it to him. Yep. The Lord said, "Hey, whatsoever you shall ask for in my name, will you ask for it? Yep. Well, there you go. There you Lies go. and deceits. Be careful what you ask for. You know, you know, you know prophets out here. The Lord has everything set up out here. Yeah, all these left hand prophets. Yep. All these things here that to take you off the path of, yep. of righteousness. Because Lord only really wants to select. Yep. You still going? Yeah. I think the brother right here been holding something for a little while. You want to bring yours? Get it, get it. real quick. This is uh, Yahweh Shai speaking." This is uh, John chapter 10, verse uh, 37. If I do not the works of my father, believe me not. But if I do, though ye believe not me, believe the works that ye may know and believe that the father is in me and I in him. And again, those works are those prophecies man, oh. that the Lord warned us about. Yeah. And that's Yahweh Shai again work, working on the earth, man, because he is the, the spirit of prophecy. That's man. right. So, hey, if you don't believe, you don't got to believe us. You didn't believe you how shy when he told you of these things. So just believe the very work state. Just like he told y'all 2,000 some years ago, man. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to believe it, but you're going to see it soon. You know? That, that was the point I was going to do. That's right. right. This, uh, uh, this, uh, yep. this is my This is my This is This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. I saw heaven and earth to record this. Report this day against you that I have set before you right and death, blessing and cursing, therefore to life that thou that both thou and thy seed may live. Mm -hmm. Verse 20 says, That thou mayest love yet love your house thy power, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him, for he is thy life and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which your house swear unto you unto thy father, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. To give them. How about now, God? Yep. Not choose the ways of the world. Choose the ways of the world is death. Example giving, going out there, uh, uh, the so called black woman, going out there to support, uh, like, like your kids at the moment. Yep. That's choosing death. Yep. That, 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 that's, 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 that
know, right? And you said that you said hearkening to his voice. What's his voice? The prophet. Thank you. So he that hear of you, hear of me. You know, he that despises you, despises me. So you, you know, the Lord is not going to come off his throne and say, look, stop eating pork. Stop celebrating Christmas. You know, repent. This is my name. He's going to do it through his prophets. You know, and you have to have a spiritual eye to see and understand who the prophets truly are, man. Right? Yep, whoever, whoever wants to respond. Yeah. In the book of Jeremiah, 14th chapter, we'll start at verse, uh, the point, uh, verse uh, 13. It says, Then said I, Ah, Lord God, Lord God, behold, the prophets say unto them, Ye shall not see war, neither shall ye have famine, but I will give you a short peace in this place. And, they, and, and you got people out here saying that. Oh. You know, counteracting what the true prophets right. are actually saying through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's like, this shit ain't gonna happen. Alright? All right. Let, 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 let them open their stores back. You can go in the restaurants back to mad. It's gonna be okay. You gotta worry about it. See, I told you. And, and, and it's catching our people off guard. You got it. And they're basically saying, you, 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 you shall not surely die. Yeah. You know, it's coming in the ways of the serpent. Yeah. The scripture says they are all the up, all the up, you're part of the devil. Mm -hmm. You know? They speak with the, with the devil has whispered in their ears. Yep. You know, a little sweet nothing. Uh -huh. You're going to be all right. You'll be okay. Right. You know, take a little bit of class with your family. You know, not die. But you can stay out of it. We'll be healthy. You know? Well, mm -hmm. you ain't going to So, if you see anything about the future, they, they, they're going to be like, what? You know, we in America. We don't have to follow Jesus. Oh, they don't care. That's the old time. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Shall not be in this land by the this is by sword Woo. and famine shall those prophets be. Yep. So they're gonna die of the same shit that they're trying to prophesy yep. again. Yep. All right, and that goes for the new humans that goes for all all the things mm -hmm. that you see as prophets that start with the elders and the prophets. Yep. All right, they're gonna get taken by those same things. It says uh, verse 16, and the people to whom they prophesy shall pass out in the street, excuse me, and the people who prophesy. 
and the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword, and they shall have none to bury them, them, their wives, nor their Damn. sons, nor their daughters, for I will pour their wickedness upon them. So they're gonna they're gonna basically reap their, their own work. Yep. All right, the Lord's gonna deal with you. And if you scroll up to verse 15, I'm sorry, verse 11 in the same chapter, Jeremiah 14 11, it says, Then said the Lord unto me, Pray not for the people for, for their good. All right. yep. uh, yeah, so the Lord only wants to pray for yep. you know, these are taking all this thing about building the nation. Mm-hmm. It ain't about building the, the nation, will be built when the kingdom of heaven is established. All right, all right, right now, the Lord is only dealing with a, a remnant on this earth, yep. just a small number, you know, well, and they're, they're doing this. Yep. Okay. So the outcast, the out, what's going on in the earth? Yep. I don't know who's fucking with us like that. Okay. Um, I was reading about that. And, and one of you about to get on um, um, Ezekiel 14 chapter going in that. Um, but whatever you got, bring it out. Yep. Yep. Do your thing, bro. Where it says verse 42. Disobedient has been obeying the Lord, don't know his way. See, when, when we see a gate get uh, murdered or whatever, you know, a homicide was committed unto him, we know that's the judgment from the Lord. Because right. the Lord got us in the spirit, got, we got the truth, we understand that puts more fear in us. But majority of our people don't, if they're God, then why did, why did this baby die? We know why. But our people don't know the Lord. They've been disobedient, so you know, the Lord blinded them, man. They don't understand what's going on. God, and they're actually like, you know, they, they say, why, God? So how Down the goddamn street on Zoom. You know, like, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 never mind. You got one? I got the. I, was, that's where I, was, I got that Ezekiel. Yeah. This is Ezekiel chapter fourteen, verse nine. And if the prophet be deceived, mm -hmm. when he has spoken a thing, mm -hmm. I, the Lord Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. So you got prophets who have the hundred percent proof. We have false prophets. The Lord, if the Lord says, there's a prophet who's out here deceiving people. I'm the one to deceive that prophet. Go out there and do the deceiving. Going back into the on the scripture the brother brought out, man. The Lord set everything up perfectly, man. Right. And I will stretch out my hand upon him mm -hmm. and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. Yep, the Lord is going to destroy these false prophets in the midst of Israel. Wrap the news and, and um, uh, what was it? Uh, comfy, you know? Yeah, Kazakhstan. Make, making a, uh, an example of these ninjas, man. You know, false prophets. They got fucked out, man. Yep. yep. I know, right? <laughs> yep. It says, and they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. Yep. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. Yeah, so the followers. Yeah. You got a lot of followers of these false prophets. They're going to get that judgment too. The hell you think you're going to get all, you're going to skate free. Now there will be some of the elect amongst these false prophets. The Lord's going to draw them out and they're going to come into the fold. Right. You know? Nonetheless, the, the, the actual truth of the Heavenly Father is out there. Yep. So there's no excuse to be like, well, I'm a supporter of this and they they didn't teach the dog. Nigga, they, they talked a lot about the the real men of the oh. Lord. They talked a whole lot of shit. Mm -hmm. And it should have been brought up to your to your attention. You should have been like, huh? Hey, the script say uh uh uh, uh take every man as a liar and the most high to be true. Mm. So the things you listening to, anybody you listening to, you should you should be like, Yeah, right. let me find out. Right. But you didn't do that. Right. So you like the brothers going into yep. you gotta you gotta eat on the same plate then. That's right. Right. You sat at the table with that's right. What is Christian man does of all things? Right. They always talk about this group TMS. They always saying that these men are 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 the R word. Right. But they've never been locked up. There's no proof. Let's see what he let's see what they talk about. Let me just take time out. They, they ain't doing it. They they are gonna these false prophets. Lord, so I'm gonna get you too. Real, real quick. Uh -huh. Malachi chapter three, verse eighteen. Woo -hoo. Malachi three and eighteen. Come on, seventeen. Yeah. Um, or sixteen. Yes, yeah, sixteen. Come on. Malachi three and sixteen. Then they that feared the Lord again, there goes oh, the fear. fear. You got it. Spake often one to another, uh -huh. and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him. And then that feared the Lord, and that thought upon His name. Mm -hmm. Goes to show you there's a name. Okay. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. Okay. Yep. That thought upon His name. Yep. In that day, when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. You break down, you got Yeah, it. so that's, that's, the Lord just told us there's going to be men to be able to do that. If you don't have that ability, that means you weren't of that toe. Woo, you weren't a part of those tools of the Lord that, that he kept, man, because you've been blinded. It's like it. People say it's a fearful thing that falls in the hands of living power. That's scary. That's scary when the whole time you're thinking that, you know, the men in purple and gold, the men in all black, you know, ISUTK, the IUIC, or is a home of the truth, man. You got to be, the Lord ain't dealing with you. You know, at least you repent and he brings you into the, you know, under the right people. One more. Uh -huh. This is Matthew chapter 13 and verse 15. Ooh. I started at verse uh, eight or nine. Uh, 13. Or you want me to sit upon you got it. Yeah, yeah. Matthew 13, I'll start at 13. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see, see not, and hearing, they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. And and a lot of y'all hear these prophecies by the prophet uh -huh. about the pending judgment that's coming to y'all. And y'all don't understand what the hell we're talking about. Right. Hey. But the Heavenly Father is going to come and show you here real soon. That's right. That's right. Yep. And, and, and for you two-thirds of our people, man, y'all, hey, man, the Lord got something special for y'all, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all had the Lord's only begotten son uh, put to death. Yep. And you didn't, and then you killed his prophet. Yep. You didn't want to hear this word. Well, the Lord's going to force feed it through you, man. Right. Like the, we were talking about last night, the, uh, the Wu-Tang. 
and feed you and feed you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and throw his asshole yeah, right. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. And Lou got special. Lou got some yeah. special yeah. quick and niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. a jack in the box. Hey, yeah. yeah. Lou's got surprise quick and niggas. Yeah. Yeah. You know, here it is. You think you got something nice? You know, you think a man can just throw forever. You keep turning that box and then surprise. Man. Gather yourself together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gather together. Oh, nation not desired. And what's the nation is not desired? The nation of Israel, the so called right. Negroes, Latinos, Native right. Americans. Right. Nobody, huh? Everything, right. everything. Yep, yep. Yeah. yep. Hey, like, like they say in these songs, everybody want to be a nigga, but nobody want right. to be a nigga. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He saw, he saw Spirit. <laughs> Right, right. You know? They want the salt, but they yeah, don't want the justice right. that come along with it. Yep. They said before, uh, verse two, before the decree bring forth, uh-huh. before the day pass as the chat, yep. before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, yep. before the day of the Lord, Lord's anger come upon you. Uh-huh. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. Yeah, you got to be humble. You could say, um, uh, uh, I can't remember. It's uh, St. James 1 and 22. Um, yeah, you bring it right quick. Um, I got you, bro. Hey, yeah, got, got, 121. Hey. 121. Right, 121. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man is thought and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, Yahweh, so he will abundantly support it. Because look at it. You know, my guy, you know, man of God, mm-hmm. uh, transgress the wickedness of our wickedness. Yep. Their wickedness is going to reach the heaven. Yep. And then eventually going to go right to the adverse and slavery. That's right. Our people are going to go down with it. That's right. Uh, we don't. That's right. They, they, go, they go to that sea of hope thing that is the same thing. Shall say all men of evil against you for my sake. Yep. 
Yeah, man, you come to the truth, prepare yourself for temptation, prepare to be persecuted for believing in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Speaking the truth. You know? see any, uh, you never read about in the history books, you never uh, experienced it in our past life, and we experienced a lot of hell in our past life, we went to slavery, you know, okay. Daniel 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 Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. hey, we went to slavery, 70 AD, the Great Depression took place, the flood, uh, you know, hey, so hey, you want to be hit. You know what's bad, anytime my parents were asking about it, what they teach us, education, yep. they ain't teach us what the right. did in, in the 60s. Liberty to actually serve the Lord, you was given the prophet to tell you was being wicked. Yep. Okay. 
and the Lord still gave you, you know, all the kingdom. You'll be ashamed. You're going to right. start, 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 but you're not, you're not even considering this fact right now, even though the pursuit everything seems pushed yep. out. You keep telling me that's right. the Lord still don't care. So you, you're going to be, you're going to be ashamed. And what does that mean? Your legacy carries over, you right. know, to the kingdom. Either, either you did good work or you did. You know, but like you say, people, you know, people are going to be all right when they come back. Because everyone shall be saved. All the nation of Israel shall be saved. But it's going to be embarrassing to know that, you know, I, I was doing that. You know? Yeah, you, you should be. And you're going to be pissed, man. Yeah. You're like, damn. I was a I was a mo. Right. I was selling drugs. You're going to be the worst slave master. Yep. You're going to be just beating the shit out of East Hell, man. Yeah. <laughs> because you were like, yo, you had me, yeah. me wearing the dress and right. shit. Right. Show me hologram and shit. Like, yeah, this is you, my son. Right. Yeah. It's a more day. You're going to be pissed. Right. Right. Yeah, you're going to be wiping Right, right. Yeah, you got to bring it back. Right. 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 You know, it's a two thirds down on this side. Right. You know, and, and, and some of the brother was saying about, you know, having that wound, man. You know, the first step to recovery is acknowledging that you hurt. Right. If you don't acknowledge that you hurt, then you're not going to seek a position. Mm -hmm. So you have to first acknowledge that, man. And our people, they don't acknowledge it, even when it's being told onto them. They stomp, they close their ears, stomp yeah, their yeah. feet, yep. you know. So, you know, this is why they're not hearing this word. This is Matthew 13 and 15. This is the last verse on this. For this people's heart is whack gross. And their ears are dull of hearing, <clears throat> and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, mm -hmm. and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, meaning the mind, and should be converted, and I should heal them. So the Lord is basically saying he's blinded you because he don't want to save you, man. He's blinded you two-thirds because the Lord wants you to die. Yep. Okay, the scriptures talk about that ye be born in vain. This be day that be born in vain, uh, mm -hmm. roughly paraphrasing. Yep. You were just born to be an example yep. of, of what happens to those that disobey the Lord here in these last days. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's all yep. it is, man. Yep. And this is in the book of Luke, chapter 12. Luke, chapter 12, we'll start at verse 41. Hey, the Lord, like the Lord uh, despises disobedience, man. Yep. The, the scriptures say, look uh, look and, and see if any has been forsaken that, uh, uh, that feared the mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, man. Meaning they obeyed him and yep. see if any were forsaken. Yep. But those that did, guess what? They perished, man. Yep. They were forsaken. And look what happened to our people as a whole. We we didn't obey the Lord, and the Lord forsook us, man. That's why Yahweh had to be sent to free and graft it back in, to be adopted back to the Lord, man. Because mm -hmm. we were disobedient. How bad we have to. Yeah. The whole nation would have been born. Uh, yep. uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 41. This is uh, a parable from Yahweh. Says then Peter said unto him, Lord. We can sell this parable unto us, or or even to all. And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season? Blessed is that servant who the Lord, when he cometh, sh shall find do, like shall find so doing. I'll read that again, verse forty-three. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so find doing. All right, so we're here, we're here doing the work of the Lord, right? Okay, and when when the Lord comes back, not if the Lord is coming back, and it seems like just, it can happen pretty damn soon. Hell yeah. All right, we're doing the work of the Lord, yep. we'll be blessed. Yep. All right, it says, um, read it on, read it on. It says, um, verse 44 of a truth, I say unto you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. <laughs> Of a truth, I say unto you, and he will make him ruler over all that he has. But, and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord, the layer is coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and the, and the maidens, and eat and drink and be drunken, the Lord of that servant will, will come in a day when he looketh not for him. Yeah, see, and, and that's the thing, man. If our people had the mindset that they were Israelites, they would understand that when they see the prophets. The Lord was about to do something yep. because he did that all the time in the t ancient times, man. Yep. It got to the point where Jake was so fed up where they were like, hey, you coming peaceably, man? 
Because they were like, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, if we see you, man, we know something bad is about to happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it, it, that's, why, that's why Esau, that had to be that falling away. Yep. Esau beat that out of our people, even the, the, the slightest hint that we were the Israelites. Yep. Man. You that's know? where it starts. Yep. Like, you see these people now, they look at us and they laugh. They think, you know, that, that we're a joke. Man. You think the Lord's been that he has set up all over the four corners of the earth, you know, are a joke. These people walk by and they laugh. You know, like the scripture said, laugh now, but soon you still mourn and weep. That's right. You know, you're going to run out of tears, man. You ain't mm -hmm. going to have no tears left, man. You ain't got nothing to eat when you see your kids die. When people that stole your kids from you and, and uh, uh, find them up down the street, man, eating fingers and toes, man. Oh, you know, there's going to be time. There's going to be new names for food instead of time. Maybe time. Maybe it, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, finishing this off. It says, uh, I read verse 46. Luke 12 and 46, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he's looking not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbeliever. All right, and we talked about um, all the unfaithful will die in their own faithfulness. Okay, that's what's gonna, that death is basically gonna come. And that servant which knew his, like, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself. Neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. So, you know, you it says, um, reading that again, and that servant which knew his, his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will shall be beat with many stripes. So yeah, you're gonna get you're gonna get your ass whooped yep. one way or another when 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 the Lord comes back. Okay, because we're telling you, all right, yeah, Yahweh is coming back. That's the main prophecy. Yahweh is coming back, he's gonna destroy this world. And he's going to redeem his elect. He's elect. Yep. He's redeemed. But you, you wasn't doing what the Lord was saying. So when you, and you knew, that's a lot of you guys yeah. know. You've been yep. told. You really got the gospel. Yep. Someone told you. Your cousin told you. He was an Israelite. You need to start doing this. Stop talking. You know, I'll do it next year. Right. Uh, my New Year's resolution right. type shit. Right. All right, I'm going to start reading the Bible. I'm going to start, right, right. you know, going out to see our camps. You keep talking about I'm going to go out. I promise. So you keep putting it off. Right. Okay. Hey, what if the law comes on, on, on December 28th or some shit? Right. You know, they say, uh, just someone telling you that you're an Israelite, just off the strength of that, you have access to the truth. So all you got to do is hop on the YouTube, mm -hmm. type in Israelite, basically, you know, and a whole slew of different things are going to pop up, you know, and eventually, you know, you can stumble upon mm -hmm. a, a great millstone. You know, and even these other camps, they're at least telling you you're an Israelite. Yeah, yeah, they're right. telling you certain aspects of the books yep. that are true, yep. you know. And you watch some of these other camps in the beginning, because I know what happened to me. God, yes, I, I was watching every, every yeah. camp in the world besides Great Millstone. Yeah, right. And I was and I was just I was a last narrated. camp. Yeah, you know, yeah, the last yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just a narrated by the cursing out of his wife. Oh yeah, shit. Right. You know, with the Bible. Oh shit. Right. You know, calling them devils. Then right. bring up, I was like, oh shit, talking about slavery. I, I was like, oh man, yo. This, this is what I was looking for. Right, right, right. You know, the hook, I found right. it. Get you in there. Mm -hmm. you know? That's the hook. Most started passing, and then the spirit, you know, found great notes. Yep. So you, you know, you go from there. Yep. Um, but um, reading on, beat with many stripes, um, verse uh, 48. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. So you're still going to get it. Yep. You know, it may not be as much as uh, as, as, th as those that are, are, are here that knew yep. uh, and just put it off. Maybe you didn't know. Okay, doesn't mean that you're exempt from judgment. Right. Um, few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. Ooh. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. Oh. Okay? So, you, hey, now, you know, look it up. We have to do this. No. If we, if we stop, then we, hey, we, we might as well just jump off. A building, yep, you yep, know, yep. you know, or, or put a millstone around your neck, uh -huh. jump in them, you know what I'm saying? Because it's over the Lord ain't gonna have no mercy. He's gonna do it to you. All right, so this is highly important. Once you win, you win. All right, okay. Don't turn it back. Don't turn it back. Well, uh, first to Corinthians 15:8. Therefore, my beloved brother, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Right? For as much as you know, may your labor is not in vain in the Lord.
yeah, but we're going to be worried about this uh, shit now. Uh, you damn about that shit. Uh, right? hey, uh, nobody's going to say, yo, he's for doubt. None of us. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> if I hear any, it'll matter. Yo, if I ever hear any of that, yo, right. or the state, ain't no rap. Right, right, right. We're doing that shit, though. Yo, ain't no English in the future. All right. Baby, it's going to be songs and hymns. That's right. That's right. That's right. If I just say, too, it says abounding in the work, growing in work, man. You're supposed to be the same man in the truth that you were when you first came in. You're supposed to keep growing. Right. And if you if you ain't growing, something's wrong. You're doing something wrong in your life. And then it says, right. too much is given, much is required. Right. Our brothers that show a lot of breakdowns, right. they're doing a bare minimum. I'm just going to do three videos for week. Knowing you can be doing seven, you can be doing five. Put a perfect yeah. balance. But, yeah. you know, yeah. the Lord knows if you're pushing on that gas, if you're trying it, you know, man, there's a lot going on right now. I'm just going to say that. Yeah. Say it one more time, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Say it one more time. You know, I'm like, saying, man, you a lot can't going on, for real. You can't pick a video on, man. Hey, so, so, you know, wrong. to the Lord, man. Yeah. You know? I got a quick step. Uh. Going back to what the brother was saying about people that think the thing they might as well jump off the damn building. Mm -hmm. This is Second uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 20. For after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of Yahweh and the Lord Yahweh Shammashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the Dang. beginning. Hey, that's a total disrespect to yeah. the Holy One. Seven more demons up on. Yep. Seven yeah. more demons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To fill that void. You know, there's no dating trannies and shit. Yeah. 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 Keep the ball back up. Right, man. right. You over here, you throw the knife. Right. Knees bad. Right. Right. Back right. Back right. Back 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 to the island. Through. Full of force. There's one more. Verse 21. For it has been better. For them to not have known the way of righteousness, mm -hmm. then after they so have known it, you have the best person to know 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 the best person to Dirty garments and dirty clothes on. You know, 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 yeah, I know. Bitter and everything. Some folks. All right, continuing on. Then, after, continuing on in verse 21, then after they have known it, to turn. 
from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it appeared unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is returned to its own vomit again, and the soul or the sow that washed her, that was washed to her, wallowing in, in the mire. Go back to the proof. It's like uh, anybody who has
went one direct way, man. One quick direct way. Come out here and pop up. They had the Lord to take forth the people by heaven for you so called to go back to the native and the where we as the Israelites are going to live in, in peace with the Lord. That's how you bring forth the glory of the Lord. Which is time past, but not a people. Get black, get down, African, African, big wet back, Indian, Indian, Latino, Moreno, Red Man, you know, every every derogatory term. So it says, uh, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of Yahweh. Which have not, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. So, mercy. We got that mercy, man. We got that love and kindness. Man. How about from outside? By him sending his son down here to reconcile us back to the heavenly father. Right. That's that's the love and kindness, man. You got to meditate on that, man. You got to understand that through the Lord, Yahweh God, you are brought back into the heavenly father, man. Right. By not by not by anything that we have done or can do. Only by what the Lord has predestinated, man. That's right. You can't make yourself part of the elect. No, or can you not make yourself part of the elect? No, you're predestined. Yep. Wait, hey, but you, you know? still got to be warned. That's right. You still got to be, be warned. warned. You still got to do the work, man. You know? You still got to put your time. You still got to put your best foot forward, man. You can't look back. Take a hand and take a hold of that power. You know? Ain't no turning back. Like you put before this, we ain't got nothing in this world. We ain't got nothing left to go back to. Our family always despised us. What we believe in, what we stand for, we ain't seeing that church and dinners, we ain't support the church crowd a lot, we ain't hanging in Jesus Christ, we ain't holding their hands in the church, so we ain't seeing them to the church people. So they already despise us to a certain standpoint. They already don't like us. Right? Yep. And when this devil demonizes us on a high level, they really ain't going to like it. They ain't going to answer your calls no more. They're actually going to aid in, 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 the, in the helping of, of these uh, uh, these, these task force in, in, in finding you and presenting you before uh, rulers and judges, man. you know? Bringing you, throwing you in these prisons, man. You know, hey, what was that? What was it? Joe Biden had made that hotline, you know, for, for the snitch hotline. Yeah, snitch hotline. Oh, yeah. You knew, uh, somebody who was uh, suspected with C-19. No, oh, no, yeah. not that not one. That one. That, uh, you knew somebody that was like activist. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, they gave him a hotline. You know, but they really keep an eye on the high level. Man. And he saw some set of words out for people that know what uh, people is for, like, temper, quote unquote, is, you know, for his apprehension. You know, one time, I remember the people of white, people of white, and that's so black. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're going to see your photo. Neighborhood white, Israelite, they're going to use the T word. If you've seen what they're going to have to work. If you've seen what it's done, garments, somewhere, they're going to have the whole profile. Yeah, they usually say, Okay. They usually mm-hmm. say shallow warm, or they keep some type of fluid. Hebrew is Hebrew is Hebrew is That's what yeah. I'm saying. And they, they, they don't, don't put it on TV for you. Yeah. 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 Public service coming out yeah. right before real abortion or some shit. Right. You know, it, it show, show like a, a ragtag group dressed like this. And you see yeah. this. Paul such and such. Yeah. He's anti Semitic. Yeah. You know, so that's how you know we have to. Now we right. can't. Yeah. But, you know, right now, we still have to continue to push the word and warn you out there. Okay? Because <laughs> right. we was once, we needed to be warned. Yep. We was demonic and in the world being right, all touchy right. with you. Mm-hmm. Right? But we got the warning, okay? We need to uh, heed it to the warning. The spirit, you yeah. know? You know, because it's up to, it's up to the outside of the word of the mouth. It's up to the Lord's mouthpiece. You know, so we're giving you the warning. You know, you ain't got to believe it. You know, it's, we ain't like these Christian churches, man. We don't care if you believe or not, man. It's not up to us. But we got a job to do. Come out here and blow the trumpet, you know, and, 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 and get the blood off our hands, man. You know, so in that time that we can be seen worse, to so get beamed out of this place, we're willing to receive those crowns of Yahweh's house. You know, our goals are here on earth like these, these niggas, man. You know, being making it to the business world, you know, being in Hollywood, a, a million dollar car, you know, a whole time. Even if you, even if you're in this, in this truth, you got a million dollars or got some nice things. At the end of the day, you know it's going to be destroyed, too. Right. You know, you ain't putting. Twenty, thirty million dollars up in the bank, and saving it for your kids and a rainy day ten years from now. You know what I'm saying? You know we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, yeah, we ain't worried about that. You know, it's all that's all vanity. You know, you know the true things are, are the things that we're storing up in the heavens, the kingdom. 
you know, we're bought and rust is not corrupt, that cannot be taken away, that thieves cannot break it, break through and steal, right? you know, things that we can actually enjoy forever because we're going to live forever, man. Right? You know, why seek things on this earth that you're only going to enjoy for 30 years, maybe 35, 20 years, you know? And, and even if you make it to the end, you ain't getting beamed up with your, with your Bentley or your Lamborghini. Or the elements of hell. Exactly. God. You know? But you got it. Uh, uh, this is uh, First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. I know he was reading a lot. Now you're good. I, uh, I know you're reading a lot. First Peter chapter 4, verse 17. And we do not doubt of the earth. That's what it means. Looking like there. Hey, she looked like uh, the the uh, the slavery sign. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. The God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got that. She's like, yeah. Yeah. She's like, yeah. Yeah. She, she, she said it like, yeah. 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 that's what she looked like. <laughs> like Patsy. Yeah. Yeah. 12 years of sleep. This is uh, First Peter's. Uh, chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come that judgment <laughs> must first begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? So what's it gonna, what, what, to what end is it for you, man, to serve this world, man? You know, to disobey the Heavenly Father. You know, you gotta, you literally gotta count the cost, man, before you come and serve the Heavenly Father. Hear, listen to what you're hearing, and actually think about, man, is this, is what they're saying true? And then go search it out, and the Lord is going to reveal to you, man, that this word is, is is true and holy, man. Separate from everything else that you've ever heard of being taught in the world, man. Separate from your churches, because although they have this book, they it, they can't pull anything out and break it down to you like the men of the Lord can. Man. They don't give you truth. But if you don't disobey, if you don't obey, what's going to be your end? You got to count. You got to think. Really think about that, man. Yeah. How we think. Um, in Second Corinthians uh, nine, verse thirteen. Second Corinthians nine and thirteen. It says, "And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished." Yep. And when? Yep. Because uh, what Edges was worrying about the ungodly, like, right. Lord, you punishing all your Israel. people, all, all Israel. The Lord's like, man, the hell with them. Hey, my people, you don't think I, I don't care about my people? No, they they not serving me. They're disobedient. What the hell with them two thirds, man? Go out there and do the work. But. Inquire how the righteous shall be saved, mm -hmm. who the world is, and for whom the world is created. Right. You got it. On the right. Yeah. Okay, we don't even know we're part of the elect. So right. We're just out here trying to hold low will. We put the video on maybe one of the elect we stumbled from right. the video to the spirit. You know, that's all that really matters. We don't care. We, we, we already know that they're going to be short. Mm -hmm. uh, you brother just read it. Okay. They won't, they're done, bro. They, yep. It's going to be a, hor a horrible death. Mm -hmm. You read up in this chapter, it's death by pain. Yep. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So they got, yeah, they're going to feel it. All right, mm -hmm. but our focus is more not just condemning the wicked, which is part of it, yeah. but even if the righteous hear the condemnation of the wicked, they should just, oh, shit, I don't want this to happen. Yeah. All right, so they're going to, yeah. that's really who that message is for, the righteous. Right. See, if you don't follow the Lord, that's going to happen to you. Right. So then they're going to start standing up yeah. here like a brother here, or two like us, you know, and, and follow the Lord, start keeping the Lord's mm -hmm. sacrifice. We're about to follow the Lord. Yeah. I can't do it perfect. Right. But we're going to try. We're going to strive for perfection, and Lord willing, the Lord has mercy on us. All right. All right. Um, it's going to say, um, knowing the care of the Lord, we persuade men, we persuade our, our, our people to, to repent. But if they don't, we moving on. And um, your house actually, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, man. We don't inquire about these, these third ninjas, man. They just say, tell them. Yo, yo. Threat. Yo, yo. Threat them with his word. The Lord said, warn them from me. We're warning you of the th the, the threats the Lord is t telling you. Man. Yo. You know? That's right. <laughs> Anything you want to say, bro? Rob? Anything y'all want to say to close out? Yeah, yeah. Go for that one. Uh, this is uh, uh, this was John 2 and 1. It says, uh, my little children, these things right I, right I unto you, but ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins. And not for our own, but also for the sins of the whole world. And hereby we know that we know him to deliver. No. That's the message. You know, when you come out here on the house and the power is a lot of people. You don't want to be an enemy of your own master of Yahweh Child. Because we're not underneath the sacrifice of him. It's a lamb or goat. And, you know, saw to him, present him as an offer. No. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Hey, I told it to last first. I told it to last first. Hey, 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 I told it to last first. My flight, his flight leaves at eight. My flight lands at nine. The game's right. on the line. Basically, her man leaving. I'm arriving. You already know. He already premeditated. Oh, uh, you know, we That's the dumb That's the dumb That's the dumb There's a law now on numbers, man. Those that are presumptuous, basically, they, they, they're, uh, you know, just being premeditated. Yeah, premeditating. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah. You got to turn those off. You got to get on that. Yeah. 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 Got him. I'm going to get a couple. Even on Esau's law, premeditated pre check to keep a harsher uh, yep. you know, than just, you know, premeditated murder. To keep a harsher sentence than just a regular month murder or a homicide. Step out of bounds on this, right. on this one right here. You already knew. 
I know. But anyway. I know the furniture. Uh-huh. Listen, let me. I got some money to sell. I'm going to pay off that people. No. I'm going to pay off help. No. Yeah, I know. If I did cool with help. If I do get, you know, a tight, give me a little left. You know, hey, they could, yo, the wickedness. Yo. Yeah. They can go all out. They can go all out. Yep. 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 That's why when Howard Styles on the team, he was dealing with Jake Stern. You can't, yep. you can't give Jake an inch. Just take him out. Hey, what, what, what did y'all just say? I already know what you did. Yeah, I already know what you did. I already know what you did. I mean, he know. went dope, you know? They were trying to entrap him in. They were trying to entrap him with words. With and y'all already words. knew what, what they was coming with, yep. man. Because they, were just, they wanted to overthrow over uh, uh, Donald Trump, man. Right. And, and, that is, the man, you know, uh, will uh, will not be reproved. Yep. Uh, making an excuse according yep. to his own will. Right. Yep. Right. Got to justify it. Justify it. Yep. Yep. Uh, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandment. And he that said, "I know him," but keep not his commandment. He's a liar. The truth is not in it. Because again, Christians, they all say, oh, God, 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 God. Everything's coming out. And if I can say it too, you got camps who saying the law, the law, the law. Yep. But yet when oh the, the, you know, the pokey so pokey was out, take it. But it's good to say, um, it's good to say, uh, make no cutties and not cut. What about, where, where's the law at now? Where, where, you know, you, you hit it. No. But uh, you finished with that, bro? No, a little bit more. Yeah, so again, you know, we put our people to the best of their ability. We keep the law, you know, because, hey, we understand we do transgress. But there's things that you can't keep. Right. Yeah, slip up. But again, you do slip up. You, you, you know, you can it. We know not to pick them up. But you can go to somewhere and they might have grief that they cook for them. Right. You can't escape that. And that's the point, you know, with sin, you know, pray to the Heavenly Father that he gives you the mercy of you know. But this is going out there. We don't, we're not dumb to go out there and be some fucking raving and wolves, man. And be some, you know, some lawless niggas. Because that's, that's not even about what it's being in the race right there. No. We're going to put some people to walk with the spirit. But nobody. Right. Who put, who, who put less than one? You know? So, hey, anything that's just showing us, man. You know, an ant can bite us and protect our body. He can drop dead. A spider. You know, a snake can come in the street. And man, a bee can fly. While you're driving your car, I, I had this happen. A bee can fly in your car. You put hands on your leg. You can fuck out with it. You got your car. You can stick to it. So, but nobody, man. Right. You know, you can chip over the wall, chip over something. You go ahead first. You be a vegetable, man. And then you in a wheelchair. That's all you can move. You turn around like that. But that's it, man. You know?
when is man, we need y'all up there with So we tell our people, man, hey, you need to repent and learn what's pleasing to the people y'all up there with Come on here. You know the name now. Now you got if you really truly believe in this, you got to refrain like oh, heavy. Pray without ceasing. Yeah, pray, man. Like heaven and 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 in in the truth and sincerity and in confidence that the Lord hears your prayer. And you got to pray a lot, man. You know, you know, I'm talking to myself first and foremost. But that's something that we need to be able to do because that's our defense. And that's our nationality. That's who we are. Yeah, we definitely do pray. That is what we do. We always pray. You know, you know, but that you know, swords and you know, guns and things like that. That's not other really our defense. Yeah. You know, yeah, your brothers may have them, but it ain't nothing wrong with that for personal defense. Right. But if you relying on that for like, oh, you take yourself trouble, right, 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 right. No, man. Your faith is what's going to defend you. Right. The most high can defend you. Yep. Yeah. Right? Yep. Most high, you go to Second Revelation, I'm sorry, uh, Sprite, the second chapter, it talks about uh, or when he comes this year. Who, uh, he, who, who, he who that, put their trust in him that the Lord forsaken? Yeah, that it, when he says, um, when he says, real quick, I know before we shut it down, that this is uh, 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 Sarant, chapter 2. What's the one? 2 and 10? Um, uh, not that, not that. One. I know which one you're talking about. Oh, it's, uh, it's up, it's up, I'm down a little bit. Okay. Um, thirteen. Um, let me read it for yeah, you. Yeah, go ahead, read it. The rock two and thirteen. You can, you can read. Um, you can read. Uh, uh, twelve too. Yep. The rock two and twelve. Woe will be to fearful hearts, and faint hands, and a sinner that goeth to ways. Go ahead. Verse thirteen. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Right. Therefore shall he not be defended. Defended by who? The Heavenly Father and through, through his angels. And ultimately, when Yahweh Shai comes back, all right, you're not going to have the defense. You're going to be out here with no armor on. Like, no, because you, if you go to the Ephesians, it talks about the armor. All right. Uh, um, with my Solomon, it talks about the armor and all you know, and the breastplate and the helmet and all yeah. that. You yeah. ain't going to have none. You're going to be out there bare naked. <laughs> You know, you play a game like you play, you play a video game like Doom. You get the you get the armor on here. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. You ain't going to have none of that shit. You're going to get ate up. They barely going to have clothes on. Hey. You barely have clothes on your back. Naked and afraid. Yeah, yeah, naked and afraid. You gonna have people out here gonna be they gonna make make the old shit. You know, put some shit together just to cover themselves. I remember uh, that old uh game Rainbow Six. I don't know if y'all both old game and uh put on realistic. Yeah, yeah, one got them bullet. Yeah, all the armor on. That shit, yeah, that shit is still. That shit may, you might get hit three times. But my point is, man, the thing got the arm of y'all about to double shot. It's true. And, and that's, that's the point, especially when we come on every week, man. We invest in that. It's very serious that you want to get on a big place of mercy and, and have great fun from y'all about to double shot. He's the one that's going to bring on That was the message earlier. The Lord is going to bring that famine, score, death, punishment. It, uh, you know, people bluffing up, you know, not us. You know, the Lord's trading, we already putting the spirits out there to keep the bug out, We're putting the spirit on the feet of Mike to do wickedness, and, uh, uh, and you know, nastiness, and haughtiness, and perversion, to let out the new world order. Hey, put the left hand side, but I'm sorry, y'all about to on the because hey, nobody's gonna go put it for their wickedness, you know. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna finish this up and we're gonna close because, uh, he that said, I know him and keep not his commandments, a liar, and keep that in him. But whoso keeps his word in him, barely is the love of Yahweh perfected. Hereby know that we are in him. He that said, he abided in him all, himself, also his so to walk, even as he walked. You know? That's so, man. We're going to know who's up, Yahweh, but you're about to say that you come from his men who walk with the You know? We're going to see that, man. He's going to put a head to ground. You know? Mm-hmm. He's going to protect it. Oh, 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 Yep. Yeah, the Lord is taking something up. Yep. Even regardless of uh, how I dance, like, 
I know, right? She, yeah. Yeah, a lot of, you know, the uh, place she met. Yep. You know, they get noticed. Still playing roles together. Right. Try to find the best to put the team to that point. You know, we, and we understand, like, yo, the harder it comes to, we're going to struggle more from point to shot, but we have to be. You know? Right. Hey, like, uh, so. Right, so with that being said, before we close out, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% right. truth according to the Bible and who we well. Shalom to all you Akim and you Aqua. Those of the whole collective that are seeking salvation, keep fighting, push. Shalom. 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 Let me end it for you, bro.